Hello folks, welcome to day three of our Rome adventure. And we've woken up this morning to find the road out front of our hotel has been closed because the Rome Marathon was going on. We didn't know this was going on. It does mean we can't get picked up by a taxi anywhere at the moment. So we're having a wander into town. Today is gonna to be a slightly different day to the rest of the series because today is the day I'm going to the football, but it doesn't happen until this evening. That's a six o'clock kickoff. So that's a video that would have already been out over on the main channel that you've probably already seen if you're interested in that kind of thing. And this morning we are heading into the city centre because we want to go to the Lego store and also some of the other shops that are over there as well. Um, the Lego video again probably will be out on the Lego channel by now. So lots of other content being produced today, but there's still going to be plenty for us to do as well because Anna wants to go to Sephora. We're going to, start, going to explore what else is over that way. And we've still got to hunt out some food as well. Plus, it's a lovely day. So we're heading further into the city centre than we've been before. So hopefully we'll have some lovely scenery on a lovely day to show you. Well, we've got a little bit further down our normal route and we've found the marathon again. They ran past our hotel like two hours ago. They haven't got very far. But as you can see, they are here. Now we do have a slight problem in that we need to get across that road and there's a steady flow of people running across it. I assume we can cross. I don't really know what the rules are for crossing a road during a marathon. But we're not the only people walking in this direction, so hopefully we're allowed to. I mean, it is taped off for a lot of it, but there is a gap in the tape here. Is anyone else crossing anywhere? We need to get down one of these two streets here. But it's... Uh, looking like that might be a challenge at the moment. We made it across, we had to duck under the rope. We were allowed to, the staff member lifted the rope up for us to duck under, and the marathon continues. I imagine we'll catch up with it again at some point, because it seems to be all over the city, just here. It's like the water station, the road is just absolutely covered. And all the cups that people are drinking and then just throwing them down onto the floor. You know me, boys and girls, I love a party atmosphere. This is fun. Well, we're a couple of minutes away from the Lego store. As you can see, we're now back in an area where cars are running again. But unfortunately, Anna has broken down. Um, so we're currently having a little pit stop while she tries to recover her foot and possibly take some medication so that we can get the rest of the way. This is why, I mean, look at the roads. This is why, I know there's going to be people saying, Kev, you should have taken the scooter with you can't use scooters on stuff like this. There's almost nothing in the way. Yeah, there's hardly any drop curbs. We did all this research before we came. Drop curbs are basically non-existent. Most of the roads are cobbled. Um, I've seen maybe one person in a wheelchair in the three days we've been here. So it seems like the message does get through. Wheelchairs, mobility scooters, things like that don't really work in this city. Um, and yeah, she's, she's trying to walk, but at the moment we're here and we're gonna be stuck here until her next set of medication kicks in, I guess. Hopefully, by the time we get where we're going, because we're now back in an area where cars are running again, hopefully the road back near the hotel will have opened up again so we can get a taxi back. Hopefully, we are on the move again. However, we have caught up with the marathon again and we need to get across this road too. So it's a time to jump across Marathon Road again. Lego store purchases made. I have no idea how we're gonna get that big bag full of stuff in our suitcase to get home, but that can be a problem in a couple of days. We've made it back to officially our part of Rome. The Pantheon's behind us. We're back in the same restaurant we ate yesterday, actually, for lunch. It's only one o'clock. Um, we're just gonna have a light lunch and then head back to the hotel where I can deposit Anna for the day so she can recover and then I can head off to the football this afternoon. Big thumbs up all round. Here we go then, for the first time since being in Italy, I'm on my usual safe food. I've gone for the chicken Caesar salad. Anna, meanwhile, has got a taste for this pasta because she's having the same one she had yesterday. And bear in mind as well, this is the girl who at home won't eat parmesan, but she's just asked the restaurant, the waiter for it. It tastes nice on there. It is nice. On parmesan this. on pasta is nice. And it is now many, many hours later. I'm back in the hotel room, having been to the Roma match. Uh, leaving there at 8pm and the roads just being absolutely solid, blocked. There was no way to get a taxi. Um, I walked for about 20 minutes and it still said it was going to be a 50 minute walk back. And I stumbled across a Lime scooter. So having not ridden a scooter of any kind since I was about nine, 
the desire to not walk all that way took over and I paid eight euros to hire a lime scooter. I had to carry it down some stairs at one point and then drive it around some pretty sketchy streets. Uh, but eventually got back to the area I, f I was familiar with near the Pantheon. And at that point, I acted like a local, turned off the sat nav and just razzed it. I tell you what, that 10, 15 minute walk from the Pantheon to here we've been doing, I just did in three minutes on a scooter. They're quick. I need to test to see if Anna can get around on one because that'd be a great way for us to get to the Coliseum tomorrow. But I suspect old broken knees might have a problem with it. So uh, oh, if you want to see how I got on at the football, that video would have been out a couple of weeks ago on the main channel. So you can go and check that one out. It was a win and there were seagulls and that's all you need to know. Um, I think this has probably been a slightly shorter video today because we've got then the Lego store vlog, which will be on the Block Party Lego channel and obviously the match day vlog for the main channel, so not quite so much travel content today, but tomorrow we are off to the Coliseum. So next week's video, we'll be back to full on tourism mode. But if you have enjoyed this little snippet of wandering through the back streets of Rome, by the way, obviously didn't film myself on the scooter. I'm not Casey Neistat, I would have died. So that's why there's no footage of me doing that. Um, but subscribe to the channel. I need to find something to eat. I haven't eaten since that salad that I had nine hours ago, I'm starving. Thanks for watching. Toodle pip. Bye-bye.